day and welcome to episode 58. Now I will just stop here. That sound you just heard was our roof rack mounted shovel hitting the side rock. Gives you a bit of an idea of the width of these tracks. Anyway, that'll be coming up shortly. In the last episode we had a little work done on the Trupi before heading up the slightly wet valley to Tetral. In this episode we head from Tetral towards the Afghan border and a little bubble known as Kalash. up the cars. We stayed here in Chitral last night. Just We just camped in the car park and this morning we are going up the Kalash Valley to Kalash which um, is a village which has its own culture, its own religion um, and they dress completely differently to the rest of Pakistan so I'm really excited to go there. Apparently they do these you know beautiful dances and stuff. Um, and yeah, the drive up there, Sana was saying that it's a bit of an adventurous drive, so I'm really looking forward to that. It should be a pretty fun day. Um, okay. <laughs> Mark just said we're going to nip over to a couple. Why not? We're close enough. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're doing today. Bye! <laughs> Um, these guys here just brought along and um, Santa and these guys negotiated on the weight which determines how much it costs by 
just picking it up and dropping it. <laughs> there was a bit of discussion about that, but we picked it up for 7,000 rupees, which is about what, 70, 70 Australian, Australian dollars. So we're going to do the deed and then um, <laughs> uh, slow roast it for the next three hours or so. So I'm looking forward to that. We've got our meat. I can be a good housewife. Some, <laughs> <laughs> some vegetables. I've just given Sana my potato peeler. <laughs> Are you loving it? Yes, this is the... <laughs> it's on fire. I think I should, when I go back, I should start cooking. <laughs> My wife was busy. This, this is all going on video. <laughs> the dish we are cooking is called dampo. Dampo. Actually, it's, uh, dampo means anything which is cooked on dump. Dump is, uh, is sort of like a heat, slow heat. Yeah. And it all just goes in the one pot? into one pot, but there's actually it's, it's a, a decoration. It's just like you decorate the ranks on your shoulder. Oh, yeah. So after a little bit while, you will see we will do the ranking. The potatoes are down there. Meat is in the cushion, and it will be topped with the different things. That's good. <laughs> we are going to the museum and us ladies are going to get dressed up in the local attire so I'm looking forward to that and are you going to do some more dancing today mom? Yeah <laughs> I heard you really good at it <laughs> I, uh, I had to sit out last night's dancing session I wasn't feeling too well and I miss Mark's dancing unfortunately Did you get on camera? It's hard to see <laughs> So <clears throat> this is the Kesha. cemetery Kesha. which um, in the tra their traditional customs they... Yeah, yeah. Do you just want to dress your clothing first? <laughs> what? <laughs> what about my outfit? Uh, so this is the traditional uh, women's outfit in Kalash. I have a little handbag as well. So the lady who just dressed me, she actually had like so many necklaces on it, it was crazy. So I just... Maybe got like a tenth of what she was wearing. Um, but anyway, so we've come up to the cemetery. So traditionally they would um, bury the deceased person in an open grave, but now it's not as common just because of disease or you know, these sort of things. But yeah, it's really interesting to see. And this one here that you can actually see um, some old bones. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. And there's a big tree. Yeah, this tree's massive. It's beautiful. Is it pine? Yeah. Beautiful. The Kalash people are an indigenous group who live in three valleys in the Chitral district and are believed to be descendants of Alexander the Great and his army. Not only are the Kalash people known for their fair complexions, they also hold their own religious beliefs, traditional dress, way of life and language. Today there's only around 3,000 Kalash people left, making them the smallest minority group in Pakistan. We're now in the village and we're actually standing on top of somebody's roof. So you can see here and over here there's the chimneys which are coming out um, and they actually do dancing on top of the roof. So it's quite secure, I think, well I hope. So, yes. <laughs> and there's a beautiful view. An example of following traditional methods is this fully operational water corn mill. The water turns the water wheel, which then through a series of gears turns this grinding stone. The grinding stone knocks this stick, which agitates the corn out of the feeder and into and under the grinding stone. 
This simple but effective method has been used globally from about the 2nd to 3rd century BC. Right, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. We might see you in Greece. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. We're on our way out of Kalash now, so we're heading down the valley. Um, and I think the aim today is to get to Dia, or maybe a little bit past there, where we stayed the other night. Um, yeah, it's been a really awesome experience coming up to Kalash. It was completely not even on our itinerary to come here. <laughs> It was actually kind of funny when we arrived in Islamabad and we met Sana, we told him what our plans were for Pakistan okay. and he's like, oh, you know, I have some different plans for you. So, uh, yeah, we sort of just went with the flow and I'm so glad that we did because this has been a really unique experience um, coming up here, being able to take part in local culture with dancing and dressing up and yeah, it's been a really great trip coming up here. Um, so yes, thank you, Sana. Thank you very much. You're, you're legend. It's been awesome. Um, but yeah, this is the track. We're heading out. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. In the next one, we'll begin exploring the highest paved road in the world, the Karakoram Highway. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you get notified when the next one is live. Thanks guys, see ya!